Hi everyone, I'm Dawn. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for visiting with me today. This is Sam. Um, in this video, we're actually revisiting an old video I did uh, probably a couple years ago. Um, and it's rough. It's a rough cut. It's um, I was still learning about filming and kind of playing with my equipment and stuff. So it's definitely not perfect. Not that I'm perfect now, but it's, you know, I was fairly new at all this. Um, but I show you how I put this together. It's really, really simple. Now I, this can be worn as a mask, but I did not make this as a mask so it doesn't have eye holes because I want it to keep on display. So, and I keep it out year round. Um, it did take a little abuse in the move and got a little cracked and stuff, but I repaired that with some tape. And you can, um, in this video, I kind of just show you how to make it real quick and it's not, like I said, it's not perfect. Um, it's a pretty rough video, but I do hope you enjoy it. And um, I did, um, Tina, uh oh, here's this lollipop. This is not the one I made. Now in the video, I show you the one I made. This is more realistic or more movie quality. Um, I bought this at Spirit Halloween. So, um, because I really do love the movie. It's a great movie and uh, I think that's all I have to say. I just kind of wanted to introduce the video and kind of um, show you how to how I put this together. And the reason we're doing this revisit is because it was a couple years ago, um, but it, it, it's one of the projects, even though it's really simple, it's one of the pro projects I really love. And I'm, I'm trying to reshare all the projects that I really, really love. So I hope you enjoy this and thank you so much for coming to visit me and um, I think that's it. To make the paper mache mixture, you're going to mix flour and um, I don't measure, just whatever. And I like to put school glue in it, like Elmer's glue, because I like that it gives it a nice firm finish. You don't, do not have to use the glue. Um, and then I add hot tap water. I don't boil the water, I just get um, just hot water as hot as I can get it from my tap and then add that to it and um, just eyeball it. Generally it's two part water to one part flour and then I just keep mixing it until it's well blended and then we want a nice just like saucy Alfredo like consistency and that's what we're going to dip our strips of paper in and then we just cut our strips of paper I'm using a paper trimmer, but you can use scissors or even rip the paper if you want. And you can use newspaper or newsprint. I'm just using this paper because it's what I have. But um, that's how you make the paper mache and get your strips of paper. Okay, so to make his lollipop, I just, um, I just use some air dry clay and I kind of carved out where I'm going to put the facial features and I cut out the bite mark and then just use a skewer for the stick and when it's completely dry which will be in two or three days I'll paint everything. So it's a couple layers of paper mache on here. So I'm just letting the air out of this beach ball and I'm going to pull it out of here and um, it, this like right here is really thin but that's going to be trimmed away anyway. The lollipop is pretty much done. I just have to paint the stick a little better. But that's my Sam lollipop. i got to patch it up a little bit too. Now, I'm going to take this. This is Sam's head. And I'm going to prime it with white paint. And then I'm going to start painting it sort of like a burlap sack. I'm just gonna smooth this all over it with a paintbrush and then let it dry. And this just is gonna kind of be my primer for it. Now right here, I just took some of the Model Magic and made about an inch and a half long buttons and just poked some holes in with a skewer. Um, these are gonna be Sam's button eyes and 
I'm gonna wait a little while, I'm gonna paint these and then paint the stitch on them. And also, I got burlap because just I was not getting the paint color I wanted and I just don't think I'm gonna be able to give it the burlap texture. So I just went and bought some burlap. It was real cheap, about $3.99 a yard. I got three yards because I figure if there's any left over, I'll think of something else to do with them. So here is my base. And I know I did a lot of work on it, but really just the paint is what I'm not gonna use. So I'm going to measure off my piece of burlap and fit it over the top. Okay, so this looks good. We want a, a little bit to hang down because we gotta tie the rope around it. So I think I will cut it off a little bigger than I think I need it and trim as I need to. Okay, now that I have the size in right, I'm gonna go over the, the, the base with some watered down Elmer's glue so I can just kind of smoothly put this on here and um, then we'll do the features. So I'm just gonna use a little bit at a time. This is just Elmer's glue with water in it to help make it more spreadable. And you gotta work kinda fast with this, not super fast, cause it doesn't dry fast, but it's just, it's pretty tacky once it's got the water added to it. So I'm just gonna get this brushed on. And then start working. You know what? I don't think I'm gonna do a little at a time because as it dries off a little bit, it gets extra tacky. So it'll make it easier to stick that burlap to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and spread this across as much of it as I can, because it's gonna be hard to kind of manipulate the burlap and still work the glue underneath it. So I'm gonna cover as much of it as I can. So scratch the very first thing I said. Okay, now I'm going to smooth the burlap over and I want to make sure I start in the middle and we're just going to work, work and smooth it, work and smooth it. Okay, now if you want to make eye holes on yours, because if you're going to wear this as a costume, you would definitely need to make eye holes. You would like put it on and measure kind of where the eyes are. And then, um, like I'm gonna do a button here and a button here. So I put the eye holes right next to it and just cut them out with a box cutter. Um, I'm not going to put eye holes in mine. I'm just telling you, cause I, I, mine isn't really to wear, mine is to save. But if I was gonna wear it, I would put my eye holes like about in these spots fill the inside with whatever kind of stuffing you want so it'll sit on your head properly. And then these could be your eye holes. Just obviously this costume, will your, your vision will be impaired quite a lot, but um, and this isn't as smooth as I wanted it to be, but you know, this is what I got. So I'm just gonna have to work with it. Um, but anyway, the button eyes are gonna go here. So right here next to where the button eyes are, that's where I would put my eye holes. So, but like I said, I am not gonna put eye holes in mine. I just wanna make sure you know how to put your eye holes in in case you wanna make one and wear it out. <clears throat> the wrapping paper in the background. Oh. <laughs> mm. So I'm painting stitches just on it, I'm just painting the details on it instead of making a seam. And then I'll like, on one side of some of them, I'll do a little black and on the other side, a little white to highlight it. But right now I'm just kind of getting them in place. I'm gonna go all the way down here and then across the mouth. Okay, so Eric is my model. He's gonna put that on. Now, like I mentioned earlier, I did not put, um, oh wait, 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 Eric, I forgot something. Okay, so there's the lollipop and everything. I've made the lollipop out of just some air dry clay and a, a dowel. 
stay there. That is the lollipop. And so and that's done. I think it turned out pretty good and it was relatively very easy. Um, and uh, that's just an orange shirt we bought. From. <laughs> now, as I said before, I did not put the eye holes in because I want to keep it. Um, it's not for wearing outside the house, but um, I explained earlier in this video how to make the eye holes. And um, that's it. Eric, let me take some pictures of you, okay? Okay, so I'm setting my Sam head out here and I'm gonna find some place to put the lollipop in. I love him, he's so cute. I mean, it's not perfect, but it's good enough. I like it, good first effort. Yay, yay!